porch. What do you say, huh? I'm 50! You know, uh, I was, uh, was going to bring my walker tonight, but uh, it just uh, didn't go with the cleavage. You know, what do you say, huh? I'm 50. Uh, Robert, thank you. I want to thank you tonight for everything, for your Spitfire rapid brain, and for continuing to talk me down off the ledge when I go on and foam at the mouth and say, I'm done with acting, I'm done with acting, I'm really done, I'm really done, I'm done with acting, I'm done with acting, I'm really done. <laughs> 47 years in the film business is a long time. <laughs> but I want to thank you for honoring me tonight, and uh, tonight is the most fun party of the year, and tonight, I feel like the prom queen. <laughs> so uh, now that I'm uh, being all confessional, I, uh, I just have a sudden urge to say something that I've uh, never really been able to air in public. Uh, a declaration that I'm uh, a little nervous about, but uh, maybe not as nervous as my publicist, huh, Jennifer? <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to come out with it, right? I'm just going to say it loud and proud, right? <laughs> okay. I need your help with this. Gonna need your support. <clears throat> I am single. I am. I am single. No, I mean I'm kidding, but I'm not really kidding. But I'm kind of kidding. But <laughs> I mean, you know, thank you for the enthusiasm. Can I get a wolf whistle or something? <laughs> All right. This is this is not gonna be a big coming out speech tonight. You know, I already. I already did my coming out speech a thousand years ago back in the Stone Age. But uh, now, apparently, I'm told that every celebrity needs to qualify the details of their private life with a press conference, a uh, fragrance, and a primetime reality show. But uh, you guys might be surprised, but I am not Honey Boo Boo Child. No, no I'm not. <clears throat> now, there are a few secrets to keeping your shaki intact after having such a long career. First off, love people and stick by them. Mel Gibson, you know you shaped me too. <laughs> you know, I can't help but get moony. You know, it, it feels like the, uh, the end of one era and the beginning of something else, you know? Oh, man. Well, I, I, never, I, never, my, I never will be up on this stage again, or any stage for that matter. Change. You gotta love it. But this time I might be holding a different walking stick. This one might not be as shiny. It might not open on 5,000 screens. And it might be so gentle and delicate and quiet that only dogs can hear it whistle. <laughs> but I will continue to make films, to understand and to be understood. But it will be my writing on the wall. Jodie Foster was here. I still am. And I want to be seen, to be understood deeply, and to be not so very lonely. Thank you. Thank you for your company. Here's that extra beat.